Hello everyone. Welcome to AVLSI lecture number 12, part number three. So today we will continue our discussion on common source amplifier with source degeneration. And uh, today we are going to solve some numericals. Yeah. So let us begin with question number one. So here it is given, assuming lambda is equal to zero, calculate the small signals voltage gain of the circuit shown in 12.2.1 and ignore the body effect, fine? So this is the circuit diagram given to us. So we have resistor RD connected, V out connected from here. We have V in connected to register gate terminal of M1 transistor, and we have a M2 transistor, which is a PMOS transistor. Now, uh, you remember the gain by inspection technique? So what does the gain by inspection technique means? Uh, minus of numerator divided by denominator. So in the numerator, we have resistance seen at the drain terminal. And in the denominator, we have resistance seen at the source terminal. So from here, it is very clear that the resistance seen from the drain terminal is RD. Now, resistance seen at the source terminal of M1 is 1 upon GM1. We have discussed that in the last session. And if you see carefully, here the gate terminal of M2 transistor, which is PMOS, is connected to the ground, as uh, well as the Drain terminal is also connected to the ground. So if you look carefully, it's uh, as good as that uh, between the drain and the source terminal, we have a current source that is GM into VSG. So the equivalent resistance of that current source will be one upon GM2. So hence it is as if that is that there are two resistances in series. That is one is one upon GM1 and one is one upon GM2. Now, if you look into the source terminal of this network, we will get 1 upon GM1 plus 1 upon GM2. So therefore, the gain by inspection will be minus of numerator, that is resistance seen at the drain terminal, divided by the denominator, which is the resistance seen at the source terminal. So over here, the resistance seen at the source terminal will be 1 upon GM1 plus 1 upon GM2. Hence, the voltage gain formula will be minus RD divided by 1 upon GM1 plus 1 upon GM2. So that's how we solve this by inspection, the gain by inspection. Now let's move on to the next one. So in question number two, we have to calculate the voltage gain of the circuit shown in figure number 12.2.2, assuming that I0, which is a current source, is an ideal current source. Now whenever a current source is an ideal current source, it provides you constant current, irrespective of anything. So since I0 is a ideal, the current, the same current I0 will flow to resistor RD, right? So uh, that means the current through R0, RS cannot change, right? That is the small signal voltage drop across RS is negligible. So therefore, my voltage gain is equal to the intrinsic gain of the transistor, which is GM into RO. Therefore, and it's independent of RS because it is a constant current source. And since this constant current value will not change at all, hence uh, that uh, voltage drop across RS becomes negligible. Therefore, the voltage gain of this network will be minus GM into RO. Even if you wish to calculate the value of R out for this network from here, we have calculated that in terms of RX, right? Looking at this terminal. And that value was this, okay? That value was actually this. And uh, if you calculate the value of, uh, you know, GM also, which is equal to capital GM also, which is equal to GM into RO divided by that. So here again, we'll get the same formula, right? So basically the voltage gain of this network will be AV is equal to minus GM into RO, okay? Which is equal to the intrinsic gain of the transistor. Fine. Uh, you might be wondering how we have written this GM and R out, right? So this has actually come from the, if you, if you derive the GM transconductance for this circuit and R out of this circuit, you will get this result. Okay. I hope it is clear. Because we have derived it earlier without the load, right? Now in this case, the load is a constant current source. So hence we are getting this kind of a gain minus gm into ro okay fine so let's move on to the next topic which is our numerical a very important numerical impact okay 
i hope that the entire numerical is visible now okay so for the circuit shown in figure number 12.2.3 with this this now with what is the circuit this is my common source amplifier with source degeneration okay uh, w by l of 1 is given 50 by 0.5 rd value is given rs value is given uh, 2k and 200 ohms we have to calculate the small signal voltage gain if id value is 0.5 milliampere and we have been given the nmos parameters like vth lambda mu and cox and 25 f and gamma right so it's it seems it's very simple but we have to calculate it very very carefully now let's look at the exact formula of gain small signal voltage gain for a common source amplifier with source degeneration so here is what we have derived last time av is minus gm into r out so we have to use this exact formula today okay so remember this bracket term inside the bracket term it was rx that was r, r out was rx parallel to rd so we'll, we'll we will be breaking it up and we'll be finding the values of it okay so let's start yeah so first thing first uh, we have to calculate uh, you know gm ro then gmb all these terms first and then we will substitute in this formulas and calculate gm calculate rx then r out and then finally the value of the voltage gain av so let us start so your m1 is my nmos device okay now we'll calculate ro1 and ro i mean ro1 first so ro1 will be 1 upon lambda into id1 id1 value is given 0.5 milliamperes so ro1 will be 1 upon 0.1 into 0.5 milliamperes that will be 20 kilo ohms fine now what is the value of vs can we calculate the value of the source voltage yes source voltage is given by id into rs id value is given rs is given you can calculate the value of vs which is coming out to be uh, id into rs which is 0.5 milli into 200 uh, if you calculate it, it you will get it as 0.1 volt okay now we have been given the threshold voltage without any body effect okay we have been given nmos parameter as a threshold voltage 0.7 actually this is vtho you remember we have said discussed that in the previous lectures that whenever my vsb is not zero my threshold voltage will get affected and this is the time we are going to use that statement now okay so vth is getting affected due to body effect so vth is equal to vtho plus gamma times square root of mod of twice pi f plus vsb minus square root of twice pi f so we have been given twice pi f value we have been given gamma value we have been given vth o value but vsb we have to calculate okay so here it is uh, gamma value is 0.45 to pi f value is 0.9 we have to calculate vsb so if you look carefully vsb is nothing but vs minus vb the body voltage is connected normally to the ground so vsb will be equal to v uh, vs voltage so we have already calculated vs voltage as 0.1 so all the values are available now vth value is available 0.7 gamma is 0.45 25f is 0.9 and vsb is 0.1 so if you plug in these values in a calculator you will get the value of vth as 0.7231 so i'll give you some time you calculate this value then i'll proceed please verify this uh, you know the answers by putting these values in your calculator okay fine so once we found out the value of vth we can calculate the value of vds so what is vds value vd minus vs vds voltage is vd minus vs and what is vd voltage from here from the diagram drain voltage drain voltage is equal to vdd minus id rd okay so over here vd voltage will be vdd minus id rd and vdd is 3 volt id is 0.5 milliampere rd is 2 kilo ohm so you will get this vd as 2 volt now is my source voltage is available yes it's 0.1 volt so my vds value will be 1.9 volt okay so this is just for the you know calculation purposes uh, for the exact formula so now my m1 transistor will be in saturation right so what will be my drain current formula now so drain current formula will be id is equal to half mu and cox w by l 
VGS minus VTS the whole square into one plus lambda VDS. So this one plus lambda VDS term will also come into picture. So accordingly, my GM formula will contain also one plus lambda VDS term. Okay. So GM will be square root of twice mu n c x w over l one plus lambda VDS into I D. Now mu n c x value is given one thirty four micro w by l is hundred uh, one plus lambda into VDS. Now VDS value is we have calculated lambda value is point one. And ID value is also given, so you have to put plug in these values in your calculator, and uh, I'm sure that you will get a value of GM as 3.8249 um, into 10 is to minus 3 ampere per volt. Okay, not milli ampere, ampere per volt. Or you can drop this uh, 10 is to minus 3, and you can write uh, 3.8249 milli ampere per volt. Since I've already taken uh, written over here 10 is to minus 3, hence Milli will not come over here. Okay, so GM value we have found out. Now actually we want to calculate the value of GMB, right? Because it is in the formula. So in order to calculate GMB, we have to calculate the value of eta. And what is the formula for eta? Gamma divided by twice square root of mod of twice phi f plus V S B. Now gamma value is available 0.45. Two phi f is 0.9 and V S B is 0.1. So plug in these values in your calculator, you will get eta equal to 0.225. Now we'll multiply this eta value with GM value, which is 3.8249 milli, right? And we'll get the value of GMB. So GMB is coming out to be 0.8606 milli ampere per volt. So right now, what's the status? We have got the value of RO one. We have got the value of VTH. Then we got the value of GM, and finally we got the value of GMB. Now we'll plug in these values in the capital GM formula. Do you remember capital GM from the earlier one? Yeah, here GM R O divided by R S plus one plus uh, GM plus GMB into R S into R O. So that this formula we will be using. So GM R O value it's GM values available, R O values available, R S plus One plus the entire expression you can enter. Okay, all the values. R S value is two hundred. R O value came out to be twenty k. So plug in these values in your calculator, and I'm sure you will get the value of capital G M as one point nine six four four into ten to minus three. So I'll wait for five seconds before I proceed ahead. You all can pause the video and you all can calculate this on yourself, and uh, yeah, you can verify your answer. If you are getting anything different, please let me know in the comment section. Okay, let's proceed ahead. Now we find the value of R X. Remember, uh, R out was R X parallel to R D, so R X was this term inside the bracket. So exactly that we will calculate now. One plus uh, you know bracket of G M plus G M B into R O. The whole bracket close R O plus R O. So we have the value of G M G M B R O R S. So we plug in the values in the calculator, and we got the value of R X as 38.942 uh, kilohms. So I'll give you some time to calculate this in the calculator and match, verify the answer of R X. Next, R out is R X parallel to R D. R D value is two kilohms, so R X value is 38.9 kilohms. Uh, so R out will be. One point nine zero two three kilohms. Now, finally, to find the small signal voltage gain, it's given by minus of GM into R out. So, my GM value is available, capital GM, one point nine six four four milli, and R out value is available, one point nine k. So, you multiply them together, and finally, you will get the uh, result of small signal voltage gain of CS amplifier. Which shows the degeneration is equal to minus three point seven three six nine. Okay, so that's the final answer which we are getting. And if they ask you this numerical in exam, it will definitely come for ten marks. Okay, so I hope that you all are getting this final answer as minus three point seven three plus or minus five percent variation is allowed, but not more than that. So usually you should get closer to this number. Okay, so let's revise what we have done so far in this numerical. 
so they were asking us to find a small single voltage gain for a source degenerated common source amplifier so we first found out the value of ro actually right so ro was 20k vsb found out next uh, 0.1 uh, volt that was equal to vsb so we find the value of vth because of the body effect it changes it increases actually as you can see old value was 0.7 now it is 0.723 then we calculated the value of vds because in the gm formula in saturation the 1 plus lambda vds comes comes to get more accurate answer so we got the value of gm as 3.8249 into 10 raised to minus 3 ampere per volt so let me just orient it in the proper yeah let proper now then we calculated eta we substituted multiplied eta with gm to get gmp and then we calculated capital gm using this formula and we once we calculate capital gm we calculated rx value and uh, once we calculated rx we calculate r out and finally the voltage gain will be minus of capital gm into r out so that's how you solve the numerical on common source amplifier with source degeneration technique i guess we have come to the end of this session that is all for today next time uh, we will start with a new topic until then have a good day and thank you